everybody, Brad here from Bestronics Pro Audio, coming to you from the middle of quarantine. Um, we've been getting a lot of questions about how to utilize a couple of great pieces of gear, particularly two. So, I wanted to make a little video showing how you can utilize the Fortin Zool noise gate and the RJM PBC6X without needing to add another pedal like the Boss TU2 to split the signal for the noise gate's key input. Now if you're unfamiliar with the Fortin Zool, I would highly recommend going to the Fortin YouTube page and they do a great job explaining of how the key input works with the noise gate on the pedal and how to split the signal with a, a typical pedal like the Boss TU2, TU3, which generally everybody has. Um, the reason we're making this video is that a lot of people with more complex boards or using switchers don't want to have to add the uh, Boss TU2 or another pedal to split the signal on their board if they don't have to, you know, leave room for another effect or things like that. So the nice thing about this RJM Mastermind PBC6X is that it features a built-in tuner inside of it. And the other thing is that you can actually use this input one for your guitar signal, but then you can use input two as an always-on tuner output. And now that allows you to effectively split the signal and run to the key input of the Fortin noise gate. Now the Zool noise gate, what it does is it has this key input to essentially monitor your, your regular guitar signals noise floor to open and close the gate and then you run your you know effects loop through the the input and the output of the gate which allows you to keep your delay trails and things like that like I said I'll link the Fortin video below because they do a really great job at explaining this in depth all we're doing is we're going to show you that you, if you have the PBC set, PBC6X or something like that on your board and you don't want to add a tuner there's a way to split the signal to utilize with this pedal and keep everything happy. This isn't going to work because that effect is going to be going into the Zool's noise gate and it's going to be monitoring based off that. Okay, so we have the two pieces of gear here. Um, I'm not powering anything on so I can move everything around. This is just to show you the instrument hookups on how this is going to be ran. So you've got the RJM PBC input one, which is where your guitar will feed into. Then the input two, which will be programmed as the always on tuner output, which we'll show you how to do after this. So you're gonna to wanna to plug the input two to the Zool's key input on the side. Now, how you do the rest is all determined on how you're running the Zool with your setup. Um, for instance, you can run this in a loop of the PBC6X so that you can program patch changes for a clean channel, you know, clean tone where you don't want the gate on, a little bit more sustain and things like that. Um, to do that, what you would do is the input would just go to the send of um, the PBC6S, PBC6X and then the return, you know, to the output. Another way to do it is to run the send from the amp into the input into this and then the return into the insert loop if you're using it that way or if you're just using it in line with um, pedals, delay pedals and things like that in your effects loop, the send would go into the input of the Zool, then the output would go into the first um, effect pedal in that chain. In this instance, we're just gonna hook it up as in loop five of the PBC6X, because that will be the first loop in the typical order of the build. That'll be the first loop within the um, effects send and return of the amp. As far as instrument signal goes, everything is set up to be working. Okay, so you're gonna wanna pull up the mastermind editor now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna program that input to, to be the tuner out. You go to the audio tab, you go down to where it says tuner output, it'll say off. You're gonna wanna put it as on and then lock it so it isn't changed. And then you're good to go. You load that into your PBC and you're ready to go. Thanks for tuning in everybody. I hope this helps with any planning decisions of your pedal board or uh, if you were looking at any of these pieces of gear because they're two really awesome pieces of gear and you don't need to add anything else to split the signal because you already have the tools in front of you. Um, if you have any questions, just drop a comment below or shoot us an email and we'll get back to you. Thanks. Yeah.